Peace, everybody. Welcome to the Philosopher Cipher episode five. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to bomb ciphers. If you would like to further extend your knowledge in applying these philosophies through training techniques, join my In the Cipher online private classes, and we can make that happen. Now, let's jump in this cipher. What is bombing? Bombing is a terminology that comes from writers, aka graffiti artists, and it is the action when a writer uses different mediums, a marker, a spray can, to get their name up. That is visible on trains, on street corners, on rooftops, any place where your name can be seen, that is getting your name up and the action that we that writers use is called bombing so there are three major ways that we can bomb so we have the tag style we have the throw up and we have the masterpiece so the tag is your signature it's usually done with a marker or a spray can and the tag encapsulates your style in a fast form it's got flow it's quality and we can add different characteristics to the tag we can have simple letters and we can put more effort into it and make it almost unreadable also add arrows clouds speech marks exclamation marks question marks the tag is also your trademark it's easily recognizable and you can scatter many of them in a short space of time if you go bombing. So you can do multiple amounts of them and scatter them all over the place because they are quick to do, fast, and there is less of a chance of you being caught. Let's talk about the throw up. So the throw up is a bubble, bubble letter and it's an extension of the tag style. It is much larger. It can be done with one line or it can have a fill, can combine two or three colors. And it's also a quicker way to get your name up with it being more visible. It does take a lot longer than the tag depending on how quick you are and how good your technique is, but it is a very effective way to get your name up in higher places and be visible from larger distances. The last way we can get our name up is through the masterpiece or the piece. And most people who are not familiar with uh, writing, this is the one that kind of attracts the eye the most. So. We're taking the letters and we're manipulating the letters, adding lots of colors, 3Ds, shines, and we are creating an elaborate piece of artwork using lettering characters. And sometimes we collaborate with other artists to be part of a huge production on a wall. The thing about a piece is that it takes more effort, more planning, and it takes a much longer time so it could take 30 minutes 15 minutes for a quick piece all the way up to a day two days for a huge production now that we understand what bombing is we are going to translate it and shift it over to the breaking world this is something that i formulated a couple of years ago and it was by going to jams and wanting people to see my name and my art form all right i wanted people to see my breaking and if you're in a jam and there are many ciphers the purpose of bombing is to get your name out there and for people to see and recognize the name and what your style is about how do we translate bombing into breaking and ciphers 
we need to have a guide and a sense of a guideline for the length of time that we are breaking so the the amount of time that it takes us to put a tag or a throw up or a masterpiece together we can do the same by following the music and accounts of the music now if you if you're not familiar with it, it with uh, music we're counting in up to eight counts and that is one bar okay so we are counting one two three four five six seven eight and one being super significant in funk music and the breaks that we listen to that is the beginning of the next bar so if i'm saying four eights i mean four lots four bars of eight counts following the music can help us with the intensity that we're throwing down in in our run in the cipher the intention that we have when we're throwing down also known as getting to the point not just throwing down and being all over the place making your statement speaking your sentence and then finishing strongly so we can control the amount of quality that we're putting in each throwdown depending on the length that we're giving ourselves the skill that we need to develop is having the ear to be able to listen to what's going on count the music so we know where we are up to in the song if the bridge is coming up if the dj is going to loop the break once again and we can hit we can stab the cymbal or the heavy bass on the one also we have to be super familiar with our arsenal our vocabulary our moves so we don't have to think about what we're actually doing it's all muscle memory then we can connect that skill with the skill of listening to the music and being able to count so three things that we need to take care of so we are able to apply this bombing concept when we're throwing down in the cipher whether it's going to be the tag style the throw up or the masterpiece we need to always be aware of the quality we are throwing down we don't want to spam and just throw junk in the circle and irritate the whole cipher or just go in there with no plan and not really saying anything when we're throwing down. For the tag style, we are going to be throwing down from two counts of eight to four counts of eight. This means that the quality is super high. It's really understandable and clear. It's not scrappy. Our energy level is really quick and we're going to get to the point. The tag style is really dope for b-boys who want to get around to as many ciphers as possible that is the objective of throwing tag throwdowns in a jam meaning that you can do multiple amounts of them you could uh, back jump on many people so after each person goes down you could quickly reply and go down after them also they are great for initiating callouts and surprising that person with the call out and they are really good to throw little burners in there meaning burners meaning short little quick rounds where we're getting to the point making the statement and it throws our opponent off their game so if the person is getting tired fatigued we can throw multiple amounts of tags at them and we can start to end the battle and wear them down take them into deep water the next one is the throw up the throw up style of throwing down so this time it's going to be extended more than the tag style which means we can add more components more trademarks more elements of breaking into this throwdown. For the throw up style, we're going to go from four eights 
to 6 eighths in duration. These are great for battle rounds in the cipher. These are great for burning the circle, which is a concept that you're coming in and you're outdoing all of the throwdowns that came before you and you're shutting the cipher down. We're going on to the masterpiece. So the masterpiece is from 6 eighths all the way up to 12 eighths. These are especially good for showcases, judges showcases. In a competition setting, they are good for tiebreakers, but for ciphers, they are not as effective as the tag and the throw up because it takes so long to recover from them. And also we have to be really aware of people jumping on our back and getting called out after we throw down in this style. That's the last thing that you want to happen is to throw down a masterpiece in a cipher and then for somebody to jump on you, call you out and you're already fatigued to respond in the next round. But if you're smart, you will probably respond with a tag or a throw up so then you can conserve your energy and recover and then you're back to square one. The masterpiece is usually the quality and the duration that we see in competitions nowadays. We see people going from 6 eights to 12 eights, probably more like 8 eights to 12 eights in duration for two or three rounds. And then after that, it kind of starts going into the throw up area of four to six, six eights. Okay, that is the concept of bombing ciphers. I hope it helped you out. Grab this information, flip it, make it yours, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.